we are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel to all the subscribers welcome back i'll ask for returns for you to smash that like button to let me know you watch this video helps out the youtube channel and lets me know you'll appreciate the time and effort i put into making these videos so here we are with a video that i'm gonna break down a stock that is down nearly 50 percent and into earnings it continues to fall making it a huge opportunity because this is the first time it pulls back going into earnings we're going to break it all down and why this stock is set to possibly explode based off analysis ratings and the charts but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord and if this is something that interests you and you want to become part of and you want to gain on early with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together and we're going to jump right into it here with a stock that is down nearly 50 percent plus so the home run opportunity of the day was spectacular and if you want to get in on early and know about these stocks in the pre-market with us check out the link down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so here we are with the stocks i mentioned this morning every single one on their pullbacks and jumps up gave us three to five percent five to ten percent but one of them turned out to be a home run even though it was overextended in the pre-market i was looking for a dip and in the pre-market it did give that dip but also i was looking for the dip after the bell right and in the pre-market after i mentioned it it pulled upwards pulled back down hit about 1339 and from that moment forward it hit a highest point here of 1578 and it gave 20 percent plus of possibility from the moment i mentioned it all the way up to this point it was almost 30 percent plus in that area now after the bell in just a matter of a few minutes it pulled back down and it took off to a highest point of 20 percent plus in just 10 minutes guys if this is something you want to become part of and you want to get in on early with us every single morning and also become part of a growing community of investors check out the link down below we look forward to having you join us let's jump into these charts so the stock that is nearly down 50 percent is paypal guys pypl paypal is a stock that has been soaring for the last year it had only one bad earnings report back in may and the rest of the year it was just green after green after green and after every single earnings no matter how the pullback happened it always bounced back this is the first time going into earnings it is actually going downwards and we're gonna have to see if after earnings this continues now based off of 42 vision on the one day we have not seen this type of candlestick right white with red borders since way back here in march of 2020 so 42 vision right now is showing a point of extreme weakness that could possibly continue and earnings is coming up this week guys earnings is coming up on november 8th right so this is super important to be aware of this this is something to be watching and earnings has been beat for the last year could this be the first earnings that gets near missed or beat by a little bit but they start talking about future right predictions and what they see and outlooks on the company that can create a further guidance that can make this go even lower making an even larger opportunity paypal is a monster that cannot be stopped in the years to come okay five ten years out from now this is a beast so 42 vision allows me to see the dips right and the rips and when this happens this is exciting guys and if it continues that way even more exciting if we put the one week though it hasn't pulled that up yet right we had it back in march of 2020 we have not seen it yet happen after earnings it could actually start or if not it could find a bottom here and start reversing on the one day and not even happen on the one week but if we get it on the one day in the one week that that is a double effect is what i like to call it right that we have the one week and the one day in extreme weakness all looking for a possible reversal eventually once it bottoms out and starts getting volume coming back in and a catalyst to push it up higher so what is 
the analysis ratings right now before earnings. So after earnings, we'll have to see if analysis ratings start downgrading a little bit or if they keep their upgrades at these levels because these analysis ratings point even beyond what we saw up here of 310 being the 52 week high. It's been down since then. Let's pull it up. So when you pull it up here, you see that the lowest point is 317. The highest is 375. It has 13 buys, zero holds, and zero sells. This is huge news to be seeing this at such a discount, right? Some people would say that this is in a point where it is on sale, right? So 339 is the average, giving it a 48 upside percentage from where it's at. And 375 can give it another total of almost 60% upside and 317 would be anywhere from 30 to 40%. So at these levels, this is looking like a huge discount and a big opportunity. This does not happen every single day that we see this, right? This is not once in a lifetime opportunity, but once in a long time, like I like to call it, because the last time the chart showed this, it was way back here in March. Now on the 30 minute, things are a little bit different, right? You can see a little bit more of the volatility, but that slow downward trend, it's had its moments that it spikes back up. And you can clearly see here with 42 vision that when these come up, there's usually a point where it tries to reverse. It tried here, it couldn't continue downwards. And from 239, it took off to 256, continued downwards, tried to jump back up, still weakness, and it just continued to go lower. It's trying to level off here and find a bottom. You can kind of see it here in the slope. It was much steeper here, much steeper here, and it's trying to level off. We'll have to see if after earnings, it can actually hold this up or if it's going to fall even further down. It's a few days from now, so we still need to be watching this and also not get caught up in a possible bull trap if this starts running up towards earnings, right? I would like to wait till after earnings. I don't like to really hold things into earnings if it's been falling down this much. And even if it goes back up a little bit and continue pushes up after earnings, well, at least now I have a clearer sight and picture of what's going on. And by the way, guys, 42 Vision is an indicator you can gain access to as well by joining the 42 Vision tier level. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by clicking on it, you gain access to the Discord, the weekly watch list, as well as this indicator that allows you to see, right, the dips and the rips. And this is on the 30 minute. You could see here from 251 up to 268, from way down here, 253 up to 272, giving jumps of anywhere from 10 to 20% opportunities all throughout the chart. But when you look at it at the bigger picture, which is the goal here to catch this as what we would call the dip for probably one of the best opportunities to catch it as low as we can now before it continues going up is at these dates towards earnings to see if it finds a bottom. If it actually overreacts and goes even lower, we'll have to reanalyze the situation, but the lower it goes, and if analysis price targets stay around this area, the opportunity is even larger. I mean, look at these numbers, look at where it's at. The highest it's went is 310. It hasn't even hit the low end. So analysis are actually on a bullish case here for this one, especially with 13 buys, zero holds and zero sells. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below on this one, what you think about it. Do you hold any PayPal in your portfolio? Do you swing trade this from time to time? Whatever it is, I look forward to seeing your comments down below, how you feel about it. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.